Hi, and welcome to yet another webisode of HD City Spotlight. The campaign Spotlight focuses on issues that are circling around the pandemic. They're affecting our lives in big ways or small. The aim is to talk, listen, understand, and resolve these issues to the best of our abilities, keeping the present circumstances of COVID-19 in mind. I am Prerna Gaba Sibyl, and today we will be decoding a powerhouse of nutrition. Well, because September is the month of nutrition and 29th of September is the World Health Heart Day, today we're going to decode everything about walnuts. Our session today is presented by California Walnuts. We have a set of three panel members who would be joining in and dwelling deeper into the importance of walnuts. Now, when we were small, our parents used to eat walnuts in the morning. That's because it's good for our growth. If you're on a diet, then I'm sure your, your, your nutritionist would have recommended to have walnuts on a daily basis. That's because it helps maintaining a healthy, uh, a healthy weight. It's good in heart healthy, unsaturated fats like omega-3. They're rich in protein, fiber, great for our metabolism and good for our gut. Well, without further ado, it's time to call upon our panelists and decode the versatile walnuts today. Our first panelist is, is a doctor who has served three presidents, um, three times the president of India. He has won many awards out of which one of which is the Padma Shri. Let's welcome Dr. Mohsen Wali. Thank you, Prerna ji. And uh, I'm very fortunate and lucky enough to be with your panel of uh, very lively people and uh, first of all i would say hello to your team uh, that is uh, namami ji chavi ji nitin ji rodra ji and you and uh, you know this is a topic such topic should be covered more covered more often why yes. because common man needs these information and which you have chosen i compliment you to choose this topic which is of versatile use, especially in the month of nutrition for the country where we lose so many lives due to heart disease and uh, lots of problems of females. It addresses like thyroid. It also addresses uh, very few people know that walnuts are very good for uh, our day to day uh, performance uh, of sex, sex, sexual performance. But the most importantly in this COVID season, which is running, and in this season, what is happening that we are talking about immunity. Everybody is talking about immunity. And because of a lot of scare of the COVID, we need to have a good immunity. And believe me, walnuts are on our side when we talk of immunity. And they are very important because scientifically, uh, if explained, because I told you I was really nuts when it came to these topics, and I was serious, and I set up, and uh, what the literature did to me last night was wonderful things, and uh, in the University of Oregon, Oregon State Unit of the Linus Hunting Institute, they have done a lot of work on this nut, and. Uh, Although Tyson's time in memorials, as you address to the viewers, it is a good nut to be taken. But when I came to Delhi as a junior cardiologist and I was standing in front side of the room of my boss seeing patients and one uh, very important person, uh, he was defense secretary of that time. He asked him, Dr. Saab, mujhe kaun se nuts khane chahiye? his cholesterol was high. And I was amazed to hear reply of my boss that you should take walnuts in plenty. And this is the importance of walnuts. And also it is good for ladies. Again, thyroid. Thyroid is very important. It corrects thyroid. And there are other things which we are today scientifically trying to explain that it has uh, omega-3 fatty acids. It has antioxidants. And these two things are very important. When we talk of uh, antioxidants, that means our body produces RAS, reactive antioxidants or reactive oxidative stress symptom. 
if you permit me for a second i can uh, just take care of the phone yes we'll call in our um, other two panelists right? a second panelist on board is somebody who's the mind behind a lot of fit bodies she uh, is a nutritionist to miss world and also cricketer gautam gambhir so let's call upon nutritionist namami agarwal hi hi chavi good evening hi namami thank you so much for joining in um a third sorry no i'll call upon our uh, third panelist okay. today uh, we've all seen her on youtube she's a youtube star uh, her channel is called shri ideas trending she also is the founder of being woman a channel that uh, resolves around the aspects of womanhood let's welcome chavi mittal Hi Prerna, hi, hi you guys. It's lovely to be here, and I'm really uh, looking forward to a lot of insights uh, being shared by all of you regarding health Thank and fitness. Thank you, Chavi. Thank you for joining in. All our three panelists are here today, and uh, thank you all for taking out the time. Uh, Dr. Wali, we'll get back to you because you were talking about um, you know the importance of walnuts. Um, I want you to tell us how and why are walnuts good for our heart? Yes, very importantly. you know uh, these days we are noticing young coronary artery disease and probably we are taking wrong nuts and uh, there is a scare in general that if you take nuts uh, like uh, other nuts such as pistachio or chilgoza so they will increase cholesterol but this myth is wrong all these nuts have ldl cholesterol lowering effect that is it lowers the bad cholesterol and increases the good cholesterol and this happens by a very important ingredient of oil in the uh, walnut and that contains rich amount of omega 3 fatty acids and this also gives strength to the coronary arteries because the internal lining of the coronary arteries if the other uh, speakers can mute their mics uh, they would notice no disturbance so the internal lining of the arteries which has to be very smooth it gets corroded so omega 3 repairs it virtually it repairs the internal lining and this help of the arteries is very very important to give longevity to heart function and now we are talking very sensible things uh, we have studied about behavior of coronavirus and because of the uh, immunity disturbances the coronavirus disease is spreads from the virological phase to immunogenic phase in which the body fails to recognize its function of immunity so what is happening that the repair of the cell wall and also because the zinc and copper it contains especially zinc it gives our cells a power to repel the virus which is very very important this is the study done by the french scientists bangladesh scientists our scientists that if you have enough quantities of zinc in the body which is provided amply by the walnuts then you can save the virus uh, you can save your cells from the entry of this virus and this is a very important point third point is that uh, it has some effect on innate immunity innate immunity we are talking when we are talking about the immune behavior of t cells and in that we are very very responsibly saying this that the ingredients of walnut improve the functioning of the t cell i let me clarify one thing very importantly that everybody is talking boost your immunity no you cannot boost your immunity you cannot have three eyes but you can make your eyes look sharper so we can augment the immunity that is very important point i wanted to cover that by all these ingredients like tulsi we are talking about giloe we are talking about uh, walnut haldi we can augment the immunity and this is a very very scientific statement and in america my colleague told me one day that everybody is taking neem which is a great thing to know for indians that our formulations are being used abroad with great respect 
So walnut is also, of course, I can read California walnuts. I have uh, brought some pictures uh, in which the walnut is arising right from the tree and uh, the, the rupture of the plant and uh, giving rise to new walnut. And also, if you have a coffee-shaped walnut, it is soaked in the water. So all this combined gives a very good uh, insight into the available ways in which walnut can be used. And your dietitians and your uh, accompanying uh, panelists would tell you that people, some people like to take walnut soaked in either water or milk. So that also increases its acceptability and palatability. So walnut is shaped like a brain, you know, and walnut does have B6. So we are told that the fruits and uh, whatever, vegetables also, where they are shaped like any human anatomical organ, organ shape, they are helpful. So brain-like, it really resembles, I can say as a doctor, that even the partition between the two halves of the brain is there in the walnut. So we can derive from that, and scientifically it has a lot of B6, your uh, uh, nutritionist will tell you, that because of this factor, it is very good for nerves, it is very good for brain, and very good for even behavior in children these days. We are promoting in children, and we are trying to give this to the school uh, midday meals also. We used to get walnuts when we were young in, in the in the in lunch break, but now walnuts are expensive. It's still, walnuts are not very expensive. If you see the other things in which uh, we spend money, walnuts are one of the cheapest ingredients and the benefits are infinite. You know, yeah. walnuts have been proven beyond doubt that it helps to reduce the cholesterol, it helps to improve the thyroid function. Even for you ladies, it gives time to the hair. It makes the hair thick. So walnut has innumerable benefits when we come to the walnuts benefit for heart, for the vessels, for corona, for hair. It may be for eyes, nobody has studied yet, but for other things like thyroid and uh, our behavior on the bed, and so many things it is helpful yeah. and therefore it's a wonderful fruit wonderful nut and uh, it can be taken in any form okay thank you doctor we're going to come back to you on uh, so many other benefits that you were talking about um chavi i would want to ask you something like doctor said that um, you know you can soak it in water or soak it in milk and have it how do you like to have your uh walnuts and as a mother how important do you think that it is to feed walnuts to your uh, kids so uh, doctor has given a lot of insights into why it is important to have the walnuts every day. Honestly, I wasn't aware of all these benefits, but I'm glad that I've always made it a point uh, to include walnuts in my kids' meals. And uh, even my uh, younger one, even my little one who's only a year old, I introduced walnuts in his meals when he was only eight months old. I started roasting the uh, the walnuts and I used to make a little, I still do that, I make a little paste of the walnuts and I put it in his porridge, in his food and in whatever way I give him half a spoon of walnuts uh, every day and I do the same with my daughter who's older. But I have a question for doctor here. Uh, there are so many things, uh, doctor, that you spoke about walnuts, it's good in very ways. I want to know what I like the amount of walnuts that we can give to our children. Smaller children and hand, also for adults. A handful. If you want to know the right amount, it is 28 grams a day as a statical average, statistical average. But one and, and a half. Also walnut, two kids? Yeah, uh, yeah, four kids have coming. One and a half walnut is good enough if you are regular in taking it and it is free of any side effects because people are talking things. If you take too much of walnuts, there will be access of some ingredients in your body. So if you take one and a half big size walnut, and that would be a great thing to have, you see. And, and you see, food is stuff. I am going to tell you a statement. This is a statement a doctor of tomorrow would be the one who would be treating diseases with food. And that is a, this is the walnut as it looks, if you, I can focus as on tree, fresh, look, great thing to look at, green, green cover, and it ruptures, and and wonderful. So, 
walnut 28 grams you nobody can wait every day so it's for for smaller size or three big size and i uh, my i have a doctor colleague who yesterday when we, she was preparing my, my powerpoint presentation which i could not show due to constraints uh, she told me that in armenia armenian people believe lot in the ancient medicine and they still practice even the hard uh, peel inside the walnut they preserve and they soak it in the water and that is good for thyroid and they have tried it they have done research in the country so walnut is full of qualities in fact you know we are not praising walnut alone whatever nature has given to us we know very little this is what we are speaking is what little we know like a tip of iceberg but nature has made things in such a great way for the human kind that it is amazing to know the benefits of the things of the nature fruits of the nature and we i will accept that we know very little about them nature is great and i was telling you the the future doctor would be one who will treat the patient with diet and there is a remedy in our kitchen for most of the diseases except acute emergencies we know very little about these things like we know very little about haldi we know very little about black pepper we know very little about darchini cardamom we know very little about almonds we know very little pudina dhania all this so well i think yeah, so we we are fortunate as indians that uh, we already use all these things that you're mentioning we use yeah. them in uh, everyday cooking and that's amazing and another another way that i feed uh, walnuts to my daughter who's a bit older now she's 8 uh, she's going to be 8 soon uh, i pack a walnut inside a date i remove the seed of the date and i pack a walnut inside it and that becomes a very good snack for her when she's going down yeah. to the garden to play because it's easy to carry it quick she can eat it quickly and it gives her sustained energy for a long time and she loves yeah. it because you know it's got it's little sweet and it's got the walnut and i love it too because i know that she's uh, all charged up so a lovely tip um, from chavi all you mothers out there can try it um, now mommy i would like to move to you we have of course spoken about a lot, lot of uh, nutritive benefits of walnuts anything that you would like to add to this and um, if somebody is on a diet how good and how really does uh, walnut help in maintaining the right weight a healthy weight well um, i totally agree with doctor but doctor i would uh, disagree in one point that when you say that other nuts are not healthy i would say like i mean if you need all the nutrients required you should consume a wide variety of food item and walnuts i would say is one of the food that provides you nourishment uh, of course it's sun dried it's sun ripened it's crunchy it's delicious and uh, you know california walnuts is something which is uh, packed with omega 3 fatty acids so when you say it's good for immunity yes i would agree it's good for immunity as well because uh, uh, it feeds your gut bacteria the good bacteria and 70% of the immunity is in the gut i'm sure doctor will agree with me like, agree with me on this if yes. doctor yeah yes. so i mean that 70% and you know if is, yeah so if your gut if you feeding your gut the right food the gut bacteria your digestion is taken care of your metabolism is taken care of and your immune system is also taken care of mm -hmm. so right now uh, in the times of pandemic when we all are looking for things that are good exactly. for our immune system uh, I, i would i, I would think, add a little yes doctor yes of course uh, so like i was saying that uh, we are looking for things that are good for our immune system we are going out and trying yes, them uh, uh, one of which is i think one last that uh, we should go for uh, doctor you want to add something to it um yeah because uh, we were talking of weight and walnuts give a satiety to the human body number two they are the best they have the best fiber the best correct. fiber walnuts have correct and yes and third thing okay so me uh, my doctor is adjusting with his uh, yes uh, internet Uh, you asked how much walnuts you should consume. I would say one handful of walnuts every day in your diet will do wonders. 
because it will give you four grams of protein and two grams of fiber. So one for leg will give you six grams of protein. It's as good as having one for leg. Lovely. So when you so, say uh, a handful, uh, the the hand uh, measure is of the person who's <laughs> eating them, right? So if I have to consider my kid, then it's her hand. Yeah, correct. I'll give you an example here, like just this much. And can you can you uh, yeah, yeah lift it a little for us? <laughs> With this much. Got it. Yeah. 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 And for your kid, I would say one full walnut every day is good enough. Okay. Right. You would know better, and now that you know everyone's, I feel nowadays everyone is uh, looking. You know, everyone they're looking for food, uh, good for immunity. But then yeah. I would say that you know, had it been from starting, say, our diet, we didn't give it. We have our immunity. We have to give it. We have to give it. Yeah. Like right from young age, if we would have eaten good food, incorporated good lifestyle or healthy habits in our diet, our lifestyle. आज उटिंग I love making, uh, you know, when we make hummus, we can also make like dips uh, made. I mean, from walnuts. Oh, and in fact, I put walnuts in my smoothies. I'll put ah. uh, my fruits and my oats, but I'll also put a lot of walnuts and seeds. So uh, a good portion of my walnut in the day is done. Correct. Love, one. love. You know, um, now, mommy. One more small thing I would like to ask you. Um, we've also heard that uh, it's good for uh, decreasing depression. and because of the lockdown in the switch situation right now a lot of us are going through that uh, you know phase in life uh, how does I mean, it really help in decrease depression i mean nowadays it's more uh, we are more into mental health so yeah. walnuts uh, like doctor mentioned it looks like brain so it's good for your brain function so when we say brain function it keeps you focused it keeps you energized so that's how you know it uh, it's good for depression as well so once you're focused no jays you don't need anything else mm-hmm. also um our um, our walnuts are very seasonal kyunki hum sabke kahin na kahin ek question hota hai ki walnuts uh, some nuts should not be have in had in summers and some should not be had in winters this is a usual problem that we all have so uh, tell me about walnuts are they uh, seasonless we can have them any time uh, during the year well i feel uh, Uh, thanks to the special growth condition, California walnuts are, you know, uh, all season nuts. You can actually enjoy during summers, winters, fall, all the season. Now it depends how you store it. Yeah, you have to. I mean, uh, walnuts are high in fat, so that's why they get rancid soon. But if you store it in like a low temperature, refrigerate it, it will last for one year. Okay, so that's how you need to store it. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Lovely. Um, another very important element is um, uh, about uh, inflammation. You know, we all um, have. We all work out. We all have inflammation yeah. in muscles and everything. How does um, Chavi? I'm sure you also uh, work out. If sometimes you felt inflammation, then um, walnuts are very, very good in calming that down and uh, working that system out. Yeah. Um, would you, uh, Namami, want to tell us more about that? So you know, inflammation, be it because of muscle soreness or because of any uh, health condition, inflammation in the body is harmful. So we need to work on it. Uh, 
doctor mentioned there are a lot of herbs out there. Ginger is one of the herbs, uh, which is very good for inflammation. Apart from ginger, walnuts are also good for inflammation because it has a good amount of omega-6, omega-3 fatty acids, I'm sorry, omega-3 fatty acids. So because of the content, it's good for inflammation, it reduces inflammation as well. So just the way you add it, you know, you can add it like how Chavi, she adds it in smoothies. You can have it with yogurt, fresh fruits, and for the crunchiness, you can add walnuts. Uh, for kids, you know, they're more specific. You can add it to paranthas or, you know, when you make, when you make tikkis, you can add it to tikkis, grind it, or uh, you can make dips out of it. Different ways you can incorporate walnuts. Lovely. I really want to know from Chavi. She's, uh, she told us how she makes this smoothie with walnut. Can you tell us like a small, quick recipe that uh, probably our viewers can also try when they're, uh, uh, you know, when they want to add walnuts to their daily diet? Okay, so what I put in my smoothie is a banana, uh, two dates, a handful of walnuts, some seeds, whatever seeds I can get my hands on, flax seeds, uh, roasted flax seeds, roasted chia seeds, anything else you have. And I put some Greek in it. Um, uh, I put some roasted oats also, put, uh, put that carb quotient in it, and then I just churn it and uh, add a little water if needed. That's it. It's pretty simple. It takes me five minutes to make and five minutes to have. So in 10 minutes, I've had so many things, you know. Yeah, it's Correct. a power pack. Also, uh... conversation, by the way, is making me really, really hungry. And uh, <laughs> there's another quick recipe that I can share with you, which I also eat with yes. my meals. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is a chutney recipe and I uh, recently came across this and I tried it. It's really delicious. You grate some uh, mooli, okay? Grate okay. some mooli, put some crushed walnuts in it. And normally we make chutneys with peanuts. There's a lot of ch uh, peanut chutneys which, uh, which we eat in Mumbai. I eat peanuts as well. Yeah, yeah. So in this one, you don't put you don't, yeah, in, in this one, you don't put peanuts. You put your mooli, grate the mooli, put uh, crushed walnuts, put some chilies and namak. And then just uh, hard say grind it, you know, don't put it in the mixy. Do it with your hand or on that steel butter. And it's it's delicious, I'm telling you. I'm going to make it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. For, for everybody who, um, uh, some people like to procrastinate like me, I get these smoothies and these quick recipes, something that we would all love to go for. And uh, great, great uh, thing. Uh, I have a few, uh, you know, viewer questions that are also coming in. I would like to ask that. Um, Dr. Wali is also back with us right now. Um, does you. walnut oil help cure thyroid? Uh, Dr. Wali, yes. um, would you like to answer that? Yes, walnut oil is very good. Uh, actually, it is the main ingredient of walnut. When we were children, we used to scratch the walnut uh, on the paper and demonstrate that it has oil. So omega-3, which the walnut oil has, and so many unknown ingredients, as I told you, we don't know the nature completely. There's lots of benefit for cholesterol, for the digestion, for the muscles even, for the roots of the hair, for the shine of the hair, and specifically for the thyroid. So all these effects are there in the walnut oil. And walnut oil is a very good delicacy to be used in food also. You can add this into pasta. Children like very much when you add this into pasta. And uh, sometimes people add few drops of walnut oil in which they make the smoothies. Even with walnuts, they make the smoothies. And for additional flavor, they add a few drops of walnut oil. Yeah, and like Chavi just said that she uses it for her smoothies. Um, oh, another yeah. uh, question... Walnut yes. oil, you can also uh, uh, make walnut milk as well. Like how we oh, have yes. milk, you can also have walnut milk. Okay, I think it's something that Chavi has already tried because she just nodded and uh, yes. No, I, I'll yeah. add to the medical point to it, ma'am. Uh, those people who have lactose intolerance, mm -hmm. uh, for them, yeah. this milk is very good because right. it okay. can interfere their bowels. Also, okay. walnuts are gluten free, also, doctor. Yes, so it's gluten -free. Like who's gluten sensitive. Yeah, yeah, gluten free and uh, it's very easily digested. Yeah, it's sodium free as well. So, there is a someone who's like, yeah, blood pressure. 
yeah so we have a question in somebody is asking about cholesterol and um, i think that it uh, lowers the level of uh, bad ldl cholesterol and uh, hdl i'm sorry to correct HDL. you yes no definitely hdl cholesterol so it i think lowers the level of hdl cholesterol but now mommy please you can explain us in detail about it bad is h no no bad is ldl oh yeah i got confused Okay, I'm sorry, uh, but please explain us in detail of how it really helps, uh, you know, uh, in cholesterol levels. So you know, like how doctor mentioned, it's high in omega three fatty acids. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, as it's high in omega three, your bad cholesterol will automatically go down, which is your LDL cholesterol, and your good cholesterol, which is HDL, will go up. So that's how uh, it works. Doctor, okay. you want to add something else? Yeah, actually, okay. uh, there is a myth about cholesterol. First of all, let me not scare anyone, any listeners. That when we were children, we used to eat lots of Paulson butter, lots of ghee. Now people are scared. Actually, it is not the cholesterol which is so much damaging. In fact, fats are required for the body. You right. unnecessarily get scared about cholesterol. A good amount of cholesterol is a must in the blood. and in the body so we should not get scared every time and the second mistake which most doctors and patients do they get cholesterol tested after 6 or 8 hours fasting so always the report shows high value so wow. cholesterol test should be done at least 14 hours after the dinner early morning without taking any so wow. when we get the correct readings then we our scare will automatically reduce to 50% ah oh, like not will help in i i swear cholesterol per se does not harm i am coming to a very very big point now what harms the heart and what harms the blood vessel is something something like fear ego jealousy bigotry negative emotions that it green blood hostility and the treatment of that apart from this uh, nut is good ahar including walnut niyama asanas that means exercise shwasa that means anulom vilom dharma righteousness dhyan meditation samadhi transcendence compassion and finally love and being together compassion for each other change the passion add the compassion to the passion passion with compassion is the real treatment of the cholesterol and the heart disease and so many other brain diseases including depression which people should propagate this is a big con uh, concept i'm trying to propagate that the whole paradigm of these diseases which we call life is time diseases has seen now and people are talking about all these things in nano medicine they have proven beyond doubt that we can even edit our genomes they have gone up to the research of epigenetics in which they have shown that two twins born together like ram or shyam movie they are nurtured separately they become separate people separate persons separate harbinger of diseases so it is our genes and we deteriorate our epigene and we can modify it is in our hand to correct our genes through epigenetics it's like life is a movie and the actors are not constant you can cut edit trim and modify so all that is one of the things plus what i have told you more important things yeah. they are the crux of the solution to the world problem and majority of the diseases Right. thank you so much like to add something to what uh, yes. doctor just said i'd like to add something to that may i yes uh, that yes. physical health is often uh, sort of uh, you know differentiated from mental health and i think mm. physical health and mental health are something which are completely hand in hand they are, and they always go together a very small example is that if you are working and if you are under a lot of stress which is your mental health you will uh, find comfort in food 
and you will uh, you know feel like eating some some kind of junk food you will probably want to eat a pizza or a burger or an ice cream or a you know a, a soft drink and uh, if you are eating well you will also realize that if your stomach is full and your brain is happy uh, no amount of stress is going to uh, affect your brain and you're you're going to be you know inducing those happy hormones all the time so it's like a vicious circle you eat well you'll be happy and if you are not happy then you'll not eat well so correct like you know there's a word called hungry yeah you get angry yeah i mean i mean i totally agree with you it's not that you know jab hum when we are happy we go out we go to car chalo aaj diesel bharwate hain gaadi it's the same way when you're happy or when you're sad you cannot eat or feed yourself with food i mean you do yeah. uh, like how doctor said you can meditate you can do asanas you can uh, do other stuff to manage your stress level yeah definitely that that was quite insightful um we also have a few more questions um somebody has asked uh, can walnuts be uh, can also be taken in case of diabetes uh, nyami uh, would you want to address this so uh, if um, of course yes i generally recommend all my diabetic patient to have handful of walnut because uh, it's high in fiber it's high in protein or uh, it's good in omega 3 fatty acid which is i mean all of this all of these things are good for someone who's diabetic okay so if so you are diabetic you, yeah it's high in fiber it will uh, give you a good satiety level it's high in protein again you know good for your muscles it's high in omega 3 good for inflammation and stuff like that so yes someone who's diabetic can uh, hands down can have one can have walnuts so you can please go ahead and have walnuts um, another thing i want to know that it's very important to choose uh, the right uh, quality of walnuts how does one know that uh, the one that they're going to buy is good quality walnut uh, namami tavi would uh, any you want to answer that <laughs> i think i think doctor would be the best person to answer that uh, actually no. i'll tell you The story makes them deteriorate in their quality. You know, when you go to Kashmir, you get the fresh walnuts, as I've shown you, the tree, and they get fresh walnuts. And also, there is a stage when the walnuts are brown, like brownies. And uh, <clears throat> of course, uh, these nuts uh, grown in like California and uh, other uh, good countries where it is cold. Actually, they require cold climate to grow. Walnut trees. Uh, there are some walnut trees in Himachal also. In India, basically Himachal and uh, J and K, they grow good quality walnuts, and we rather export them. We export them, and uh, the walnut has to be stored properly. So it does it does not grow fungus? The walnut has to be properly peeled off, and uh, there are walnut crackers and people. Uh, I remember when in winters we used to sit near the fire and we used to have chilgonas and akrot and we used to munch them freely and uh, they were good quality walnuts and uh, the one uh, one uh, identification of walnut good quality is that they are thin peeled thin chilka like kagzi badam hota hai isi tarah patle chilke wala jo walnut hota hai वो अच्छा होता है गुड क्वालिटी वॉलनट वेज मोर इन द इन साइड मेटीरियल दैट इज द गिरी फ्रूट राधर देन हैवियर इन द छिलका the the peel I, i i would also like to add one yeah. point here is um, uh, i i can't really tell uh, when i'm buying the walnuts what whether they're good quality or not but when i bring them home and when i'm grinding them for my son and uh, the amount of oil that it takes out how dry or how wet how what what is the texture when i grind it completely tells me what quality right. it is because it should be full of oil and it should be full of fat if it's good quality if it's, it's dry true. matlab it's not the best one version this is one version of walnut this is kacha akrot it looks like a chocolate well i know california walnuts are you know grown in such condition where in no pesticides uh, are involved and they are like sweet and mild in taste mm -hmm. it's sun ripe so i mean uh, i think they're the best i'm i'm sure about how what chavi mentioned like you know when you grind it it should be full of fat because it has good amount of omega 3 so that's mm -hmm. one thing you can uh, uh, see like whether the walnuts are rancid or not second you know the storage really ma really matter how you store it 
like how it's high fat you need to store it in low temperature so okay. you need to refrigerate it yeah so please put your walnuts in a refrigerator so that uh, they are of course uh, as healthy as uh, the day you bought it um another thing that um, i would want to ask you is that um, somebody said should one have walnuts soaked or uh, they should be they can be uh, had raw is there a difference in the nutritive value also when you uh, put them in desserts like chavi was saying in muffins and uh, cakes and stuff like that does it uh, lower the nutritive uh, content in the walnuts or it remains same namami would you want well, uh, i i would say if you put it if you put whole if you grind it it will not change the nutritive value but yes of course if you soak the walnuts few of the nutritive value will uh, get into the water so you have to make sure that you drain the water as well okay once you soak it best is not to soak grind it have it any which way you like you know make a paste make a smoothie uh, add it to your yogurt you can have a uh, dip you can uh, add it to your parathas grind it eat your cake the best way is not to soak it I think walnuts are uh, healthy in whichever way you want to have them. Whether you want to have them soaked or roasted or baked or kacha, uh, you can always experiment, mix and match, so that you don't get bored of eating it the same way every time. And that's the beauty of it, you know. Yeah, that's very true. We all. Um... One one more thing, we've been talking about a lot of nutritive uh, value of walnuts. I also want to share uh, this little yeah. secret of walnut oil. You just put like two drops of walnut oil on your face before sleeping. You will wake up to a glowing skin in the morning. Oh, lovely! So we have a very uh, nice skin tip for um, our viewers out there. You can apply walnut oil, and you will of course have great skin like Chavi here has. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the uh, tip, uh, Chavi. Uh, I have another question that has come up, which is about uh, you know digestive system. How uh, does consumption of walnut support a healthy digestive system? We've of course spoken about gut and how it's good for our gut. Um, but would you want to add on to this and um, tell us how it's good in digestion as well? So yes. I think, sorry, yeah. sorry, doctor. Yeah. No, 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 no,
so that's how it's linked okay lovely so we got to know a lot of things about one lunch today how they're good uh, for our gut our digestive system if you have cholesterol or you have diabetes uh, you don't have to worry one lunch are again very very uh, good uh, for you the consumption of course is very important uh, like doctor said uh, four big one lunch or um, a handful of one lunch like nayami just showed us so, and chavi gave us some really quick recipe Uh, I'm sorry, sorry. Namami. Yes, Namami. Sorry. No, it's okay. Uh, of course, and like uh, Chavi uh, gave us a list of some really amazing recipes, dips and smoothies, and how of course you can feed walnuts to your children because बच्चे तो बिल्कुल भागते हैं इस सब से. So a great way to add it in their diet as well. Um, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Vali. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Namami, for being on board with us. Chavi, thank you so much for adding in all the inputs. Um, it was uh, all in all a very great uh, session, and uh, we learned a lot from uh, this. Uh, a special thanks to our presenters today, uh, California Walnuts. So, thank you all for being on board, and uh, we'll see you next time with another very important topic uh, that we'll talk about. uh thank you and good night thank you so much everybody thank you pregnant baba thank you to you also for connecting you, well a nice presentation and your team behind the screen both yes, the boys they are doing a wonderful job and my computer failed for some time it had gone to illness so when you are not in illness <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being on board, and thank you to California Walnuts. Thank you. Take care. Bye. Bye.